What's up everybody? I'm back in my apartment as always. I don't know why I just said it like that. But I'm back here and I decided to do something spontaneous but not really spontaneous. Something I probably should have done a long time ago. And that is order a food sensitivity test. A little bit of background. I have a lot of stomach problems. Lots of foods make me sick, so I got strep really, really bad in like 2019, and it like spread to my intestines, which I didn't know was a thing, but apparently it is. And it just made me so sick, I couldn't like eat any food for like two months. I literally lost like so much weight because I just was not eating. Everything was just making me so sick. And like after that, like it took a long time for my stomach to recover, and there was lots of foods like after that I couldn't eat without being sick. So I think most people are like lactose intolerant, so that's not super abnormal. Um, but I also have not had red meat since I was 12 just because it made me sick, so I don't know. I thought it was about time. I probably should take a food sensitivity test because I'm pretty sure like I'm sensitive to pretty much everything. It'll be interesting to see what this is. I wonder if it says that I'm insensitive to beef because it didn't make me sick, but I was also 12, and now I think it's just been so long that like I can't even eat it if I wanted to, <laughs> so. So let's go ahead and enjoy this. So I bought this from Everlywell. It was the highest rated one on the few websites that I did research on, and this is a fingerprint kit, so I need to register it first. Be right back. All right, so the first instructions that were in the video was to drink, was to drink a large glass of water. I'm gonna do that now. I don't, I'm not super thirsty. <laughs> I wonder why they have to do that, like in case you pass out or something? Anybody knows the science behind that, please let me know why it's having me drink a large glass of water. Okay, surely that's enough. <laughs> Alright, it now wants me to wash my hands with warm water. This stimulates blood flow to the finger, so I'm gonna do that. I'm actually just gonna wash my hands in general first. So I just got an email that my results are ready. And I'm kind of nervous. I'm not really sure what it's gonna say. Like, I definitely know it's gonna say like lactose, <laughs> 100%. I don't know like what else. Honestly, there's kind of a gamble. I've had some like weird reactions to gluten before. So maybe gluten, I'm not sure. Also, yes, I cut my hair <laughs> in the middle of this. So it'll be interesting to see what it says. Brooklyn said like really interesting things. Her said like shellfish, which she's actually allergic to on her hands every time she goes in the ocean, she like gets a reaction, so that's interesting. But I'm not sure, I, I don't know if mine's gonna say like a lot or just like a few things. I kinda hope it just says a few things so I don't have to worry about it. Whoa. All right, okay. I am on the higher end of a lactose intolerance. They can't technically say that I'm lactose intolerant, but from what this says, like I'm in like the yellow, yellow area which means I probably should not be eating lactose. But I like ice cream too much. I, okay, to be fair, I, if I can substitute it, I do. So I don't do like cow's milk. I don't do like anything else that I can. If it's from a cow, I don't, I don't eat beef. So not that that's lactose, but I don't eat beef or red meat in general. But I do occasionally eat ice cream that has cow's milk in it. So that's my one fault is that I use, I do that. Okay, it's because it, it just can't substitute as well. Like, there is no substitute for ice cream that isn't like cow's milk. There is, but it doesn't taste good. So that's one I can't give in. I'm sorry. Okay, it also says bell peppers, apples. That surprises me. I love apples. so sad. Apples are like one of my favorite foods. Do you think if I still eat them, it'll like make me sick? <laughs> Maybe this is wrong. 
I love apples, so that's disappointing to see. But like, I'm trying to think now if like they make me sick when I eat them. Do people not feel the same way I feel when I eat apples? They, I just feel full. I guess they feel a little bit sugary. I don't know how to describe it. I've never thought I had a problem with apples. I just don't like bell peppers, so I've never even tried that one. Um, and then it says wheat and rye. Well, I'm not surprised by that one. Yeah, so I got sick a few years ago and they thought I might have celiac disease, so I had to go on a gluten-free diet for a few months, which if you have celiacs, props to you because it was probably one of the hardest things I've ever done. It was so difficult to like not eat gluten after eating gluten my entire life, especially when my family still eat gluten and like everybody around me still eat gluten. Like it was really hard. And things that you don't think have gluten in them, like have gluten in them. Like weird like trail mix packets where it's like there's no gluten in this. Like why? <laughs> Why is there gluten in it? Where it's really hard to like fully avoid it. So honestly, I don't know how people do that every day. So props to you. To me, on this thing, it says I'm not super sensitive to it. So I'll just keep a lookout for it. Maybe not eat an extra dinner roll at dinner and call it good. I think the one out of this that I need to like take into consideration is the cow's milk, which I already knew. Like I already knew I was like lactose sensitive, but then I think I became more and more intolerant as I got older. Now I can't even apparently eat pizza because mozzarella is on this list too, so that's fine. I can avoid pizza. Yeah, I, as long as there's chicken. Mozzarella sticks. This is so sad. <laughs> So that's the results to my food sensitivity test. Hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this, watching, seeing what my stomach doesn't tolerate very well. It actually is really insightful and I know that they have one that's like a more comprehensive list with like a bunch more things. So I didn't do that one. I didn't know that it was there until after I did this one. Um, but it is interesting to see what your food, what your stomach doesn't tolerate well, especially if you're feeling sick all the time or like bloated or something like that. Like this could be your first step in like trying to figure that stuff out. Um, so. I recommend it. I feel like it was an easy process. My finger prick is healed. Can't remember which finger it was on. So it was easy. I like that it was at home. Um, only took like a week or two. And now I know I can't eat apples. I shouldn't eat apples. It's so sad. Well, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed watching this and I'll see you next week. Bye.